Dr. Chandrika Bhatt, Consultant Pediatric Rheumatologist at Rainbow Children's Hospital, Bangalore. Pediatric rheumatology is one of the lesser known subspecialties of uh, pediatrics. Most often, parents are unaware as to when exactly to see a pediatric rheumatologist. The symptoms children may have when they suffer from an ailment related to pediatric rheumatology may not be very obvious and I would like to sensitize parents to know when exactly they need to seek a subspecialist advice. So pediatric rheumatology essentially deals with autoimmune or rheumatic diseases that can affect children. In an autoimmune condition, the immune system of a child tends to be hyperactive or dysregulated. Normally, the immune system that is meant to protect children from infections can start fighting against the child's own body parts and symptoms can vary depending upon the body part against which the immune system is fighting. Some of the commonly seen symptoms are joint pain, joint swelling, and some children can also complain of stiffness, which is more obvious in the mornings when they wake up after resting themselves. Other symptoms it could include uh, unexplained rashes, unexplained persistent prolonged fevers for which uh, no definite focus is found, they tend to be unresponsive to multiple courses of antibiotics. Other symptoms can include mouth ulcers, unexplained hair loss, loss of weight, loss of appetite. Some of the children can also have inflammation in the eye which may be missed in early stages and can result in blindness. So these are some of the common symptoms that we encounter in the pediatric uh, rheumatology practice. These symptoms can also occur with uh, minor problems as well. But any of these symptoms, if they tend to be persistent and prolonged, that is the biggest reason for seeing a pediatric rheumatologist. Many times, children with joint pain are usually first seen by an orthopedic surgeon. But if there is no definite history of a trauma or a fracture, and this is something that the child has developed recently, it would be advisable to see a pediatric rheumatologist. Now, what would happen when you walk into a pediatric rheumatology clinic? So most often, uh, your child would undergo uh, a detailed examination after an extensive history taking from the parents. And depending upon the symptoms, you may be asked to get a few blood tests, which may include autoimmune tests, imaging in the form of X-rays, ultrasound scans or MRIs as the situation may demand. And depending on these results, the further line of management will be planned. Management usually involves medicines to control the immune system in children and it can vary uh, from mild immunosuppression to a different uh, array of medications that can be used depending upon the severity. So I would like parents to know that if your children has a condition which could be related to the immune system and again problems with the immune system can affect any part of the body like I said. If it affects the eyes, we call it uveitis. If it affects the blood vessels, we call it vasculitis. If it affects the joints, we call it arthritis. Some of them just come with fever and they're called prolonged or periodic fever syndromes. So the symptom may can be quite varied depending on the uh, body part that the immune system is fighting against. So if your child has any of these symptoms, please see a pediatric rheumatologist so that your child can be treated in time.